In California, they actually lose more than half. If you sure. start thinking about, you know, if you have a most, if not all, of America's top I mean, media business networks often turn to financial advisor Ed Butowski you know, for his advice and perspectives. So when Ed knew something was wrong inside of his body, he turned to Texas Health Center for Diagnostics and Surgery. I was having periods where I couldn't really move, I couldn't think, I couldn't do anything, I couldn't really talk. By turning to Texas Health Center for Diagnostics and Surgery, Ed chose an MRI twice as powerful as many other units across the country. Yeah. Twice the strength allows us either to do the same type of imaging we did before in half the amount of time, or it allows us to do twice the resolution in the same amount of time, kind of like a, almost like a high definition MRI, if you will. Ed hated going into old style MRI machines that caused him to feel claustrophobic and even sick to his stomach. Now with the new MRI, it is significantly better. Um, it isn't as um, you know, restricting as, as it was, and it makes for a much better experience. I mean, you're gonna have to get them done. I mean, I mean there's no question about it, uh, but now you don't have to take pills and relax and you know, start drugging yourself before you get this test. It's really you know, much better, and the quality is significantly better. There are um, patients that feel uncomfortable kind of being, you know, enclosed in that, in that type of tight space. And so this larger opening allows not only um, more comfort, but I think also offers less anxiety for a lot of people. The state-of-the-art scan at the hospital did detect a benign tumor in Ed's brain but he and his doctors are monitoring it carefully with regular MRI scans instead of immediately choosing surgery. There are a significant number of patients who have serial examinations and uh, just for the purpose of determining whether the abnormalities that they have are stable or not. These might be uh, people who have cancer or uh, people who have a chronic illness who um, are undergoing some type of therapy and um, these serial exams can either tell whether the therapy is working or whether or not um, you know, they um, need to undergo additional, mm -hmm. uh, additional types of therapy. Ed admits undergoing the MRI still isn't his favorite thing to do, but given the alternative, he thinks it's a blessing. I'm always on the go. I mean, I do a lot of things and I don't have time to really stop. Right, to stop and have surgery, and if I had made that decision before to have surgery, a lot of things that I've been able to accomplish in the last year would not have been accomplished. So uh, it, it, being able to use this machine has made my life better, has made me relax more, and has, laid, has allowed me to have better clarity, which also has allowed me to relax more.